Hi, my name is Tamina Kausji. I'm an independent broadcast journalist. Welcome to the second part of our special feature marking six months of MCO and its impact on Malaysian women and girls. In this video, we will look at two very important issues impacting our young girls, child marriage and child sexual abuse. The Royal Malaysia Police, PDRM, recently stated that they received a disturbing amount of 1,721 reports on sexual crimes committed against children from just January to June 2020. These included reports of rape, incest and molestation. The measures taken by the authorities to address this issue need to be commended, including the Sahabat Bijak safety campaign in schools. However, this being a social issue, we should do more to decrease and put a stop to these numbers, and that requires legislation and enforcement. The proposed amendments to the Sexual Offences Against Children Act SOAC, which plans to introduce heavier sentences for offenders, would serve as a great deterrent. Now, on to child marriage. According to the recent State of the World Population Report by the UNFPA, the global impact of the pandemic may cause up to 12 million girls to become child brides in the coming decade. For Malaysia, the Women, Family and Community Development Ministry, KPWKM's statistics of over 1,800 child marriages in 2018 alone tells us this is still an issue that requires concerted national effort to overcome. Child marriage rates amongst the economically and sometimes socially marginalized communities are naturally higher, and combine that with school closures during the early parts of the MCO, we can see that the pandemic makes a fertile ground for child marriage. For Malaysia, this is a setback, which should be overcome as we continue to uphold our pledge of ensuring that no Malaysian gets left behind. My fellow Malaysians, the future, potential and capability of Malaysia's women and girls is limitless. And we should never let anyone, any virus or any ideology stand in the way of progress and fulfilling our human potential. No matter our sex, race, creed, or social class. The COVID-19 pandemic has made 2020 extraordinarily challenging. But as Malaysians, we have been steadfast. We have been kind and we have proved that there is no adversity we cannot overcome when we stand united. I'm Tamina Kausji on behalf of the United Nations Population Fund Malaysia. Until next time, stay safe, stay home and stay informed.